Hi guys, and welcome back to another LD Modern Texture Pack update video. So, we're now on 0.85, um, and people have been asking what happens when you get to 1. Well, we'll just continue doing like 1.5 and 1.05 and all that kind of stuff. It won't actually be finished, there's no way I can finish the pack by then. Uh, it's just going to be continuing to expand for pretty much ever, and changing and getting better, and improving, and all that kind of stuff. So, what the hell have we got this time? Uh, I've redone the sandstone completely. So, we've got the new sandstone I'll just show you guys this so that's all of them this time before I'd only had the just the normal sandstone but this time we've got this one which also works really nicely with the stone brick stairs so we've actually got that to basically be kind of the same ish but it's, it's like the same um, way it's boxed up is the same that's that's kind of what I mean but uh, the actual you know accent block part of it the duck lap it's like a little bit darker and so they should actually kind of work together a little bit better anyway Instead of being completely separate textures, uh, I think I still need to have a play with this one, weirdly, and just make it a bit nicer. I don't know if we're going to go with a white still. I don't know. I'll have to find out. But we basically have that in, obviously, the slabs and stairs, and they'll all work really nicely together. Uh, we also have the cobblestone wall, so that's 39, well, 139, colon 11. Uh, for that cobblestone wall, which is the sandstone one, which I think looks really cool now. Uh, I just think that looks better. Uh, it just looks like it tiles nicer I guess, um, even when you go across here it's not quite right but it's good enough so you know that looks really cool I think I'm really happy with that one, uh, I need to repair that grass there uh, we also have chiseled sandstone now you'll notice that this one is a slightly different colour to the normal sandstone I've done that on purpose so that we've got like a light sandstone going around it and I've made the chisel just a little bit darker it's this kind of cool pattern uh, which you can also use for you know, walkways and things which I think looks really cool uh, and that, that'll actually work They'll just work really nicely. Uh, so of course these have all got little variations in them as well. So it's about I think with this one there's just four variations. With that one there's about 16. Uh, so you, you know they're going to look good all the way around. Uh, that's also in the default as well. I'll I'll switch over to to without uh, connected textures on. But there you go. So you get that. So you can actually do you know accent stuff around here and I don't know, I don't know why you do this, but you could do stuff like that and make some cool little patterns and stuff. I don't know, it just looked quite cool. I've made a face. Um, we've also got the smooth sandstone. I'm still messing around with this one. I, I, I don't know yet. I'm not too sure about it yet. But I am still messing around with it. I want a kind of like really smooth sandstone just for like walls and like a almost like a sandstone marble-y effect. Uh, so that's what I've kind of gone for. I'm not sure if it quite works with these two yet. Uh, so I'm still messing around with that one. But tell me what you think. You know, I always value you guys' opinions and kind of like listen to what you say. So yeah, tell me what you think about that one. Anyway, right, so then we got that. Alright, let's throw these away. My first attempt at rails. Uh, rails are ridiculously difficult. Well, they're not ridiculously difficult. They're difficult, but I think it's been about time. I can't do the rounded bits. If you guys are good at texturing, please do the rounded bits, because I just did a straight line, and it doesn't quite tile correctly. It looks alright. It looks better than the default one, I think. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to redo the ladder as well to make the ladder similar, if I can get it nice, so that we can do like cool stuff where it just transitions really nicely. Uh, but of course, obviously that works also for you know going up and stuff, so that all works uh, really nicely. Um, you can also do kind of cool patterns with this one. Uh, so this, there is benefits to having it like this diagonal way, because this then looks like, uh, so say for example if you're drawing something, uh, if you've got like uh, an artist type person, then that's going to look like you know one of those things or some sort of sculptor or something or, or something. It looks like some sort of protractory type thing to make angles. Um, but no, it's not too bad. It, it works. It does the job, but it's still not perfect. So it's my first attempt. I'm going to do biome versions of Rope and Chain, just like in Conquest, because I've been, uh, well, that's been requested so that we have that. But I'll redo the Rope and Chain uh, when we do that so we get it all in this like full set and it looks complete. Uh, so we've got that. We've got, uh, shall I go through this one first? So I've done, now I've been requested to put in, uh, not actually change the jungle wood. So we've still got the jungle wood. But the jungle wood has also got a biome specific, which is extreme hills, I believe. But oh, I need to take a picture. But it's extreme hills, so there we go, extreme hills biome. Um, and we've got all this chain, so this will actually work with quite a few different things. So if I do like this, for example, and then if I grab that biome, put that in, you will still be able to see through the blocks. And remember that that with this bit, you can always see through blocks. Actually, you can't see through like that. I think it's if you put it against a wall or something like this. You can actually see through, yeah. So you can see through blocks like that, which is a bit rubbish, but that's just how it is. 
Uh, it's the same as the iron bars texture. So it's the iron bar texture, but it's been basically wrapped around itself a couple times. So it kind of works with the iron bars as well a little bit, not quite perfectly. Um, but it's quite cool. This one does look really good, the actual cobblestone wall. So cobblestone wall and the fence versions. As long as you have the right biome, extreme hills, uh, the jungle variant variants will actually change. And if you guys have forgotten what those are, it is. Let's just hover over it. 139 colon 15 for the jungle one. And they got 85 colon 8 for the other one. So then again, you've got all these slabs as well. So that one I think works really well. Actually tiles really nicely. So you can do stuff like, you know, like that. And then I grab a fence or whatever. And put your fence up. So that looks pretty cool, I think, in general. Uh, like maybe do something about this. So there's lots you can actually do with it to make it kind of interesting. But it'll give you like the walkways, and they they all seem to like tile around each other really well, uh, and just work really nicely just joining. So that's a really cool, um, really cool one. I do kind of now now that I've done this, I do in a way want to make an electrified version of all of this. Um, <laughs> so I might do that at some point. I might make an electrified version, but I, know, I think it looks kind of cool. I think it works really nicely. So there we go. We've got that. Uh, what I was requested was a glass door, but I was talking to Quitzer about a glass door, and because of the way that it works, so like the biome specific doors for example, um, they'll look, uh, I can't actually find, okay, biome specific doors, let's just grab this and we're going to change it until we get a biome of it, it should be very quick, there we go, like extreme hills for example, this other side is still normal, it's only this side that can actually be changed, so if you put this door going this way on, for example, a fridge, it'll still show it like normal. So what I've done is I've made a glass trapdoor. This is quite a fancy glass trapdoor. It actually joins up. So like, see the edge here? When you actually connect it in, it just you know, connects. So if we grab... Oh, I probably want a better material than that. Probably something quite strong behind it. Uh, let's just go with light blue or something. So if we grab like this and put in a couple trapdoors, I'll try and show you what I mean. Oh, yeah, connecting. There we go. Grab that. So there we go. We get like this separate one here. It's very difficult to see, uh, but then these will all join up. You can't fix this top bit, uh, unfortunately. I can, but I can't. Uh, so if like, I open that one, you can see the, the top appears. So kind of like windows around it, uh, which I, I thought was really cool. So when you actually put it down, it does connect. And I'll connect all of them together and make like a nice seamless thing. That only works in verticals, so that doesn't go horizontal. So you can actually make some interesting stuff there. Uh, so I've got it here as a fridge door. Just got it on the edge like that. I've actually got two versions. Uh, there's a trap door which is in river biome, which is the clear one. And then hell biome for another version that's got this pattern on it instead. It's got like a weird little pattern, like a uh, mesh pattern, which I, I think is quite interesting. It's not too bad. So you've got both of those. And the top texture is just a squared version of it, basically. A nice simple squared version. So here I've got a small, well, basically a greenhouse. <laughs> so it's just using trap doors. Uh, obviously I've got the floating trap doors plug-in type thing on the server, so you know, we, we can actually have it floating and try to bow it out a little bit. But you know, just a tiny little greenhouse type area. It's just interesting. Something really simple. Um, but that's it pretty much for the text pack update. Really quick one. Uh, next one I'm going to be doing, probably redoing the courts, because we need to get some new courts. This is just crap. Uh, I, I just, I started doing it, and I kind of lost interest. I'm not too sure about this quartz texture. I think it's too strong. Uh, I think a lot of people agree as well. They want like a more more plain one. Um, and the chisel bricks, the actual bricks themselves, I mean, it doesn't tile right. This was a te like test texture. Uh, just to put onto it, it looks crap. The pillar looks crap. So I'm going to redo all of this. <laughs> I'm just going to redo all of that one. But I will be putting in a meta version, like a white version of that, I think, into it as well. So we'll have an extra couple meta versions of that. Uh, and maybe even do a pillar version. And depending on how my pillar turns out, I might change this smooth sandstone to a pillar. It, it might look better, like a smooth pillar. Uh, but I can always go around it and border it like this anyway, if you wanted to. I don't know. But anyway, tell me what you guys want in the pack next time. Uh, it's a nice, quick, little, small update this time. Uh, a couple of trapdoors, sandstone. So I'm redoing some of the textures and adding some new ones in. I think maybe next time i also go through the cobweb. So all of the cobweb metas I am going to change because at the minute I'm not that happy with them. This one I'm happy with. This one will change. Uh, that will stay. Uh, what else we got? So you can see there's like quite a few of them. I think the smoke one that I'll move into where the conquest one is. I'm going to try and match conquest in these. So when I'm flying around plots, it doesn't look so hideous with bin bags in the air. But yeah, we'll see how that goes anyway. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one.